Hi there, so today we're going to have a look at two ways of getting a PNG with a transparent background out of InDesign. So uh, the first thing we're going to look at is how we actually export it directly out of InDesign and then we're going to look at how we can move our design into Photoshop and then export it out that way which is actually a method I prefer because you can have a little more control over the eventual size of your exported PNG file if you're exporting a logo or something like that. So the first method is to go to File, Export and then in here we have the, the PNG option okay and this may not be available in some older versions of InDesign um, so we'll just title this export as logo INDD export just to highlight that we're exporting it from InDesign and press save. Okay, so here we have some options. We only have one page in our design at the moment, so we're gonna export all our pages and we're gonna export the quality as maximum, the resolution as 72 pixels per inch, which we could increase if we wanted to. The color space will be RGB. Any web-based formats that you wanna export, you wanna always make sure that you're using that RGB as opposed to a CMYK format. And then we'll set the background to transparent. Okay, so this is normally checked off but we'll check this on and also have anti-aliasing turned on, which will give us our smooth edges. So the smooth edges of our type and also any other graphics that we have um, within our design. Okay, and let's click export. So now I'll have a look at that file in Photoshop. So we'll go into Photoshop and go to file, open, and from our desktop, we'll grab the file we just exported, open this up, and you'll see that we have a transparent background for our PNG. Now this is viewed at 100%, so you can see that the quality is okay um, if this is the size that you want it on screen. But if you zoom in, then you can see that the, the quality is pixelated at a, a larger size. So if we wanted to increase the size of that particular file, then we'd need to do some work with it. So let's have a look at the, the second option. So if we come into InDesign and we grab all of our design elements, okay, we'll copy those, so edit and copy and then come into Photoshop and we'll make a brand new file here. And when we do this, we're gonna make quite a large web uh, file. So we'll come to our presets here, select our web formats, okay? And we'll set the size to 1280 by 1024. And we're using the RGB color mode and click okay. Now we have a background in our image here. So We'll delete that in a sec to show how the transparency works, but first of all, we'll go to edit and paste, and that will paste in this smart object layer. So basically, you can see in our layers panel, we have a vector smart object, and we can move this around and rescale. Now the nice thing about this within Photoshop, and the reason I like using this particular format is that we can rescale it, but if we wanna scale it up or down at any point in time, because it's a smart object, it's actually gonna retain that original vector-based format. So for instance, we've scaled this up. Let's have a look at this 100%. You can see it's nice and crisp and clean. The gradient is good. Okay, so we have all the nice detail in there. But if we wanted to make this even bigger, then we can duplicate our vector smart object layer by dragging it down to the new layers button here on the bottom right, and then transform it further. So if we come to our height and width here, we'll lock those together. And just as an example, increase this to 1000% of the original size. Grab the move tool and place that file size change. And you can see that even at that much bigger size, um, the type is really crisp, okay? So we have a nice crisp file size even at that large size. Okay, so let's have a look at how we export out these as a PNG from Photoshop um, so that we can then up upload it to the web. So let's drag this layer to the trash. We don't need that. We'll drag the background layer to the trash and then we'll just use the crop tool quickly to crop down to the size of our PNG. Okay, we'll press enter and then go to file, and we're gonna use the save the web option here. Okay, and at the moment, we're exporting out as a JPEG. Okay, we're gonna change this to PNG, and PNG 24 is the key. That's the PNG that contains the transparency, and you can see as soon as I turn that on, I get this checkered background, which indicates that this is gonna be a transparent PNG. I'll press save, 
Okay, and we'll save this as logo Photoshop export and save that. So you can see here we have a nice level of control over the size, the scale, and the proportions of the PNG that we're actually exporting. Whereas in InDesign, um, when we're exporting out those PNGs, we're either exporting all the pages or one page, but we don't have control over the cropping and scaling of that image as easily as we do in Photoshop. I hope this has been helpful, and uh, if you have any questions about exporting out PNGs from Photoshop or InDesign, then please don't hesitate to get in touch.